Did you know that video marketing is becoming exponentially more and more important for businesses large and small? And this year HubSpot found that around 72% of customers would prefer to learn about a product or service through videos. Hey guys, welcome back to another business tutorial. And if it's your first time here, my name's Stuart. Thanks for joining me today. Now in this tutorial, I'm excited to show you how to make your own video ads for social media in a matter of minutes without needing any video editing experience. If you're currently not too sure how to leverage video as part of your marketing strategy, well today I'm going to show you exactly how you can get started with video marketing. Today's focus is to help you get started with video marketing by using an amazing video editing tool called InVideo. Alright, before I guide you through this tutorial, and if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing to stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills and knowledge to grow your small business online. And with that covered, let's create your video ads with the tool in video. Now, like I mentioned at the start of this tutorial, video marketing is becoming extremely important, especially for social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, and TikTok for engaging with your audience, your customers, building a community, and ultimately driving more leads and sales through to your business. All right, so now let's go ahead and simply create your video ads for social media using InVideo. Okay, so first things first, all you need to do is head down to the description below this video and click the link that's gonna take you to InVideo. Now I need to disclose that this is an affiliate link and if you decide to purchase or upgrade to a paid plan, then we will receive a small commission and it just helps us kind of create educational content for this channel, so I thank you in advance. So once you've clicked the link in our description, you will arrive at InVideo. And the first thing we wanna do is sign up. So head over to sign up. And here, all you need to do is add your name, your email address, and a password, and then your phone number. So we're gonna quickly do this now. And then once you've added your information, just come down and click sign up. And here we go, we've just created our free account. Now what that means is if we decide to create a video, it's gonna have a branded InVideo watermark. So we want to remove that watermark when we create a video. So if you like, you can upgrade now or you can upgrade later after you've created a few videos and you want to remove that watermark. So right now I'm gonna to upgrade to the paid plan so I can remove watermarks from my videos. So to do that, I'm just gonna head over to upgrade and then come down here and select have a coupon code and then enter Stuart 25 and click apply. And as you can see, when you enter the code Stuart 25, you actually receive 25% off the paid plans. Now it's up to you if you wanna go for the popular business plan or the unlimited plan. We've got the unlimited plan because we're producing video content on a daily basis. And with InVideo, as you can see from the features, you have access to thousands of pre-made templates, which allows us to quickly and easily customize professional templates and add our own media, or we can actually add from the huge library of premium photos and video. So you don't actually have to create any content yourself. You don't have to go out there and create videos or photos. You can actually use the premium stock videos and photos with each of these plans. So have a look through all the different features here. I recommend going for the popular business plan to get started and then you can upgrade later on if you find a lot of value in using InVideo. Then you can pay monthly or yearly, that's completely up to you. So once you've decided on a plan, just click get business or get unlimited, fill out your information, add your details, and then what we'll do is we'll head back over to the dashboard and we'll meet you there as we've already signed up to the unlimited plan. Now remember, you can actually upgrade later on if you want to remove the watermark from your videos. So for us, we've already got the unlimited plan, so we'll meet you back over at the dashboard. Okay, so now that we've signed up, we're here back at our InVideo dashboard. And this is where we can start creating and building our video ads for social media. Now there's two options we want to talk about as this is a beginner's tutorial and there's two really easy ways to start building and creating your video ads. The first one is building from pre-made templates. 
Now if you scroll down here you can see hundreds of pre-made templates that you can build from. So these are professionally designed videos that you can edit the way that you like. So you can essentially change the photos, the videos, you can upload your own images, your own elements, change the transitions, the animations. You have unlimited options for your own customizations. Now to view each video all you need to do is hover over the video, scroll across, find the video that you like and then just click on the video and then you can watch the entire video here and you can choose the different layouts. Then you can come down here and click use this template if you wanna start customizing this video template the way that you like. Now if we head back up to the top, we also have options here. So if you have a particular social media channel that you wanna create a video for, for example, if you wanna create a video for say YouTube, Facebook or Instagram, you can find the right option here. So click along and look for the best option based on what you want to create. Then what you can actually do is find templates that are related to your business. For example, real estate. I could find real estate templates to start building from. Now the second option is actually to create a video from a blank template. So again, you can choose a wide frame, vertical or square and start creating using all the stock images and videos to create your video. But for the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to choose a pre-made template. And I can come down here and select a pre-made template to build from. So I like the look of this one over here. So I'm going to select this pre-made template, this video template, and I want to modify and edit this one. So I'm going to come down here and click use this template. Okay, so editing the pre-made template that you choose is actually really easy. Now we're going to talk about a few important elements before we get started and start editing this video template. Now on the left hand side we have videos and images. So for example, if I wanted to look for a particular video or image, I'll type it in here. For example, if I type in real estate and hit enter, in video is going to show us a whole bunch of free stock videos that we can use in our video. So for example, if I want to view this one, I just click it and this will bring up the video preview. Then just click exit and then you can do the same with any of these other videos. And again, you can type in any other keyword related to your business to find stock footage and images. So again, if I click images, you can find the stock images here to use in your video. Then we have music, and this is the music, the background music we want to add for our video. Again, we can find our collection, we can upload our own music if we like, we can head back to in video collection, and we can scroll and browse through all the different categories and music that they have for your video. So have a browse at some of the music tracks that you can choose for your video. Now if we come up here we can change the volume, for example if we want the music track to be quite quiet behind the video then we can change that here. And then we can just click play to listen. Then we have text, so we can add text to our video, as you can see we've already got text here. We can come down here and look at some of the classic, modern, astons and social media credits down here. Then there's location boxes, so there's a whole bunch of text that you can use, pre-made animated text that you can choose for your video, or you can choose standard text up here. Then we have stickers, these are basically elements. Here we can find particular elements that we're after or we can select these options here. So animals, business, call to actions, so like swipe up, buy now, call us, uh, comic and corporate and other elements down here that we can choose from. Again we've got e-commerce um, and then there's emojis. So there's so many elements and stock media videos and photos that you can use in your video. Then we have effects. And these are the effects of our video. So these could go behind certain elements on our video. So again, there's fireworks, there's glitter, all sorts of different effects over here that you can choose from. So have a browse and see if you can put any of these effects over your video. That's completely up to you. Then we have shapes. Again, these are just elements you can put in your video. Then we have enhancements and uploads. If you have any of your own videos or photos that you want to upload and add to your video, you can do that here. Just come down here and click upload or drag the video or photo file into this space here to upload that video or photo. So again, on the left hand side, we have everything we need to actually create our video. Then on the right hand side, this is where we have the options to actually edit our video. So we have edit. So for example, if I click on any of these elements, it's going to allow me to edit that element and there's a whole bunch of options within each element that I can edit. So again, I can click this, 
click this element here and I can start editing on the right hand side. Then we have layers. Now layers are essentially the layout structure. If you have a background image, you obviously want the background at the very bottom. If you have text that you want over the front of your background, then that's going to be at the top of your structure, of your layers. Then down here we have the video scene. So for example, we've got three scenes. We've got this one here, here, and here. If you want to edit it, just click on the particular scene, and then you can come over here and start editing that scene, or you can click on the elements up here. Now, if you want to reduce the duration of each element, you can come over here and you can just drag that duration. So for example, that's six seconds. I can click on this element. I can drag that out further. Then if you want to review the scene, just come down here and click play scene. And that's going to show you that particular scene. So just click out of that. And now if you want to play all three scenes, you want to play the entire video, just come over here and click play all scenes. And that's going to play the entire video here. So if I click out of that, so you have those two options there, play all scenes or just the one particular scene. So again, if I want to edit this scene over here, the last scene, I can make the duration longer. I can change this image if I like. For example, if I want this real estate image here, I can drag that and place that in here and click replace or add as layer. So I just want to replace it. And as you can see, that image is in there now. And if I click play scene, it's going to show that real estate image there. So there's a lot you can do with in video. So essentially, if you want to edit those elements, now there's a lot of different kind of features when it comes to actually editing each element. So for example, if I want to edit this shot now, I click on it. It's going to take me over to the edit option. I can edit the text here. I can come down and click on styles. I can change the font, the look of the text. I can change the font size, height, style, text alignment. I can come down to colors and I can change the color of the text or the box colors. I can change the transparency. I can come down to drop shadow and change their animations. So I can change the animation, slide from down at the moment. I can go, for example, blur in. I can come down here, zoom in. I might click zoom in and then you can change the duration of the animation effect. So again, now zoom in, if I click play scene, you'll see that that element just zoomed in and I just made that change. Then we can come down and change the text box animation and that's pretty similar to the animation itself and then come down here and change project colors. So you can change the colors of the entire project here. So as you can see, these are the theme colors of this video. We've got the blue, the light blue, uh, and then we've got black. So very basic, very straightforward, very easy when you start building from pre-made templates. Then I can come down here and I can change the transition between each scene. So for example, between scene two and three, I can change this transition. Currently it's slide up. I could come over here and change it to any transition I like. For example, if I go slide, let's go slide stretch right you will notice that the transition between these two scenes will change. Again, I can change this transition to spin right. And then if I play the entire scene now, you will notice the transition between each scene. So this one should be a kind of a spin. Now it's a bit laggy because this is just a preview. And then this next scene should be, yep, so slide to the right. So as you can see, I've changed those transitions. Then you can also add another scene if you like. I can click add scene and you can select from these options here or you can build your own scene. Then you can come over here and you can actually also duplicate this scene. So I can click duplicate and click yes. And then I have the exact same scene as this one here as the third scene over here and I can modify this one the way that I like. Again, I can come over here and add a sticker. I can come down to CTA and click say get started. Now I know this looks ugly, but this is just a tutorial and I'm just going to quickly show you all the different elements. So again, I can add that here and I can change the sizing of this element, uh, this call to action CTA. Again, I can edit it on the right hand side under edit and layers. And then we can come down here and view this change. So if I click play scene, yep, we can see that new element that we just added. So I'm going to click out of that. I'm happy with this video. When you're happy with your video, when you've played around with all the different elements on the left hand side, you've changed all the edits and modifications on the right hand side, and you've modified the duration of each element down here, and you've played with the different scenes and transitions, 
then all you need to do is play your entire video one last time if you're happy with it then come over here and click export then you just have to wait about one to two minutes for the video to render and then you'll be able to download the video and then when your video is ready to download just come up here and click download video and then once your video is downloaded you can add that to social media you can upload it to facebook linkedin instagram youtube TikTok, whatever social media channel that you focus on that you want to create video ads for you now know how to create those video ads in minutes so let's quickly check out the video i just downloaded And as you can see, that was basically the pre-made template that we chose. We didn't really do too many edits, but we showed you how to make those edits. So remember, just choose your pre-made template and change all the different elements and customize it the way that you like or build your video from scratch. Very straightforward and simple to create your own video ads. And that is it for today's tutorial. I hope I've inspired you to get started with video marketing by simply using the tool in video to create engaging video content. Now, if you have any questions, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. I hope you got value from it. If you did, make sure you leave a like below the video. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Take care guys.